Welcome to the world of Oliver, a timeless cinematic gem that has captivated audiences since its release in 1968. Directed by Carol Reed, this film adaptation of Charles Dickens' classic novel Oliver Twist takes us on a journey through the grit and grace of 19th century London. As you revisit this cinematic masterpiece, consider this. Is there a particular scene or moment in this movie that has had a lasting impact on you? Or perhaps, out of the many roles portrayed, which one was your favorite? Now, let's delve into some intriguing insights about this cinematic classic. Did you know that the role of Oliver Twist went through an extensive casting process, ultimately leading to the discovery of Mark Lester, whose innocence and charm perfectly embodied the character? And, not to mention, the iconic musical numbers that have become ingrained in the collective memory, from Consider Yourself to Food, Glorious Food. Before we continue, we'd love to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic treasure? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. So, whether you're revisiting the film or discovering it for the first time, Oliver continues to resonate with its poignant narrative, memorable characters, and unforgettable tunes. Immerse yourself in the world of Victorian England, where a young orphan's journey unfolds against a backdrop of hardship and hope. Now, it's over to you. What resonates with you the most in this cinematic classic? What role left a lasting impression? Share your thoughts below and let's celebrate the enduring magic of Oliver. Oliver is a cinematic adaptation of Lionel Bart's acclaimed musical, itself inspired by Charles Dickens' timeless novel, Oliver Twist. The 1968 film weaves a captivating narrative around a young orphan named Oliver, who navigates the grim streets of Victorian London. Director Carol Reed's masterful storytelling brings to life a world of poverty, villainy, and unexpected kindness. With Oliver's journey unfolding against a backdrop of memorable characters, including the conniving Fadgen, the sinister Bill Sykes, and the compassionate Nancy, the film's unique blend of musical numbers, poignant drama, and Dickensian charm resonated with audiences, garnering critical acclaim and winning several Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Mark Lester's portrayal of the titular character and Ron Moody's iconic performance as Fadgen left an indelible mark on cinematic history, while the film's catchy tunes, notably Consider Yourself, and As Long As He Needs Me, became instant classics. Oliver not only stands as a cinematic gem but also left an enduring impact on popular culture, solidifying its place in the pantheon of musical cinema classics, a testament to the timeless allure of Dickens' narrative and Bart's musical brilliance. Mark Lester's portrayal of the titular character in the 1968 cinematic adaptation of Lionel Bart's acclaimed musical, inspired by Charles Dickens' timeless novel, Oliver Twist, left an enduring mark on the film's history. Behind the scenes, however, there's an interesting facet to Lester's performance. Contrary to his on-screen singing, it was Lester's voice that resonated in the musical numbers. Tave Green, daughter of the film's music arranger and supervisor Johnny Green, stepped into dub Lester's singing. The revelation, made public in 1988 during a 20th anniversary interview, disclosed that Lester was deemed tone deaf and erythmic. Originally, two boys were selected for the dubbing, but their voices didn't match Lester's appearance, leading to the unexpected choice of Johnny Green's daughter. While audiences marveled at Oliver's portrayal of Victorian London, certain scenes, like Boy for Sale, involved creative challenges. Shot in July 1967, the sequence required a snowy setting, a tricky proposition in London's unpredictable weather. Exterior shots relied on adequate cloud cover, and the snowballs were crafted from an unusual mix of polystyrene, salt, crazy foam, and mashed potatoes, showcasing the ingenuity required in filmmaking. In a fascinating turn of events after the film's success, Mark Lester, upon receiving his earnings at the age of 18, made an extravagant purchase of Ferrari. This added a personal touch to the actor's connection with the film, and marked a significant chapter in the aftermath of Oliver. S. Impact. These behind-the-scenes insights offer a different perspective on the making of the 1968 musical classic, revealing the meticulous choices and unexpected turns that contributed to its lasting allure. Mark Lester's on-screen portrayal, the creative solutions to filming challenges, and the personal impact on the lead actor collectively enhanced the narrative surrounding Oliver, making it more than just a musical but a multi-layered cinematic experience. 
Approximately 5,000 boys auditioned for the lead role in Oliver before Mark Lester secured the part. This extensive casting process highlights the filmmaker's dedication to finding the perfect actor to bring Dickens' iconic character to life. The exhaustive search not only speaks to the challenges of casting a young protagonist, but also underscores the significance of Mark Lester's eventual selection. Interestingly, while many viewers assumed Jack Wilde was one of the youngest members of Fadgen's gang, he was actually the second oldest, celebrating his 15th birthday during filming. This adds a layer of nuance to the dynamics within the gang, showcasing the diversity in ages among the characters and the actors portraying them. Moreover, the commitment to quality in Oliver goes beyond casting. The cast rehearsed for six months before a single frame was shot, emphasizing the meticulous preparation that went into creating this cinematic classic. Such an extensive rehearsal period undoubtedly contributed to the seamless performances and the cohesion evident in the final product. In delving into the behind-the-scenes aspects of Oliver, these facts shed light on the dedication, attention to detail, and unexpected dynamics that shaped the 1968 film. The audition process, the age dynamics within Fadgen's gang, and the extensive rehearsal period all played pivotal roles in the making of this enduring cinematic gem. Mark Lester's connection to the 1968 film Oliver goes beyond his on-screen portrayal of the titular character. Interestingly, his surname, originally Letzer, was Anglicanized to Lester to sound less German and less Jewish. This subtle alteration in his name reflects the behind-the-scenes considerations and decisions that shaped the production. A meticulous attention to detail extended to practical aspects as well. On set, Lester, the young lead, faced restrictions prohibited from running around and playing with other children to prevent a rosy-cheeked appearance that would disrupt filming. The effort to maintain a consistent look for the character highlights the commitment to visual continuity. However, the seriousness of the film's tone didn't prevent moments of humor behind the scenes. In a practical joke played on Harry Seckum, a false ear was created for Mark Lester. When Seckum grabbed the boy's ear, it came off in his hand adding a lighthearted touch to the otherwise intense atmosphere during filming. These anecdotes provide a glimpse into the dynamics on set and the camaraderie among the cast and crew, showing a different side to the making of Oliver. Mark Lester's altered surname, the measures taken to preserve his on-screen appearance, and the playful pranks behind the scenes contribute to the multifaceted story of Oliver. These details offer a deeper understanding of the film's production and the people involved, showcasing the blend of professionalism and camaraderie that defined this cinematic classic. As we draw the curtain on this cinematic journey, let's not merely witness the spectacle of the screen but delve into the intimate corridors of our own nostalgia. Oliver, a timeless tapestry of heart, strife, and the indomitable spirit echoes through the ages, transcending mere celluloid to stir the very essence of our souls. In every melody, every twist of fate, find the mirror reflecting your own narrative. Perhaps it's the serendipity of chance encounters or the resonance of dreams that have long lingered in the shadows of your consciousness. Oliver is not just a tale unfolding on the silver screen. It is a prism refracting the kaleidoscope of your own memories and aspirations. As you bask in the afterglow of this cinematic masterpiece, we implore you to share the echoes it has awakened within you. What scenes tugged at the strings of your heart? Which characters found a home in the tapestry of your thoughts? We invite you to illuminate the comment section with the hues of your reflections, weaving a communal mosaic that transcends time and space. In the grand theater of life, Oliver, is not merely a playbill but a symphony in which each note, each pause, beckons you to participate. Let the threads of connection weave a tapestry that spans generations, drawing us all into the collective embrace of shared remembrances. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic odyssey with us. Your time and thoughts are the brushstrokes that paint the canvas of our shared experience. Until the next reel unwinds and the credits roll, remember every story told is a story lived. Appreciatively, the narrators of your cinematic voyage.